Hello everyone, my name is Ira Fay, and I'm so excited to show you this game. This is my first game from the 2023 War of the Ring World Tournament. So this was played a couple months ago at this point, but I would like to go through and analyze all my games. I think it's useful to give sometimes a little bit of space between when you played. If you go back and look at a game, you might notice things you might not have realized when you played it. So I am paired with J-E-R-L-U-E-B-K-E. -E. I'm not sure how to pronounce that, but we were paired round one and uh, we randomly determined that I would play free people first. So I'm always very happy to see Riders of Theoden. My opponent uh, allocates one eye, rolls one more and gets a couple of palantirs, three palantirs, but at least two musters. Shadow Lengthens maybe could be playable early on if you want to. It's in some ways nice to save it, but... Uh, let's see what I get. So this is interesting. So I have enough to be able to crown Aragorn turn one. I would have to spend a ring. Would you do it against two eyes? I have a playable strategy card that's quite nice. And that would be a nice use of the Palantir. And then I could move quite a few times. What would you do? Leave in the comments. Let's see what I did. I don't entirely remember. So I start by passing, that makes sense, and then they draw a character card. Interesting, okay. And then, um, all right, cool, I separate companions. So I brought Strider, Legolas, and Boromir. And I guess my plan is to bring Legolas to Lorien, Boromir and Strider down to Minas Tirith and crown this turn. All right, so that's exciting. And my opponent now draws a strategy card. I go ahead with my plan. They muster Isengard toward war. I give them a ring, and then they get I they get Saruman, and I get Aragorn. So turn one, Aragorn. I did have to give up a ring to do it, but obviously the longer the game goes, the more that's going to pay off. And I have Boromir in Minas Tirith, so they will be able to hopefully work together and defend it. And... We'll see what happens. Also, I mean, to be fair, I did have Grey Company, and I, that was in my opening hand. So hopefully, Riders of Theoden, Grey Company, I'm still going to be able to play them later. So my opponent plays Monsters Roused here. That seems reasonable. I mean, do you, I don't think you really want to draw a fifth card. I also wonder, maybe you just play Shadow Lengthens and get these armies in, in Mordor going. You could really bring a force to bear on... Minas Tirith a little bit faster, or maybe you're just going to ignore it. I don't know. Okay, so still, it is nice to be able to besiege um, Rivendell, and now, as, now that I'm thinking about it a little more carefully, Shadow Lincolns will let you get armies from North Dunland, South Dunland. Um, you know, you could merge up, muster once with Saruman. Now you have four regulars between North and South Dunland. You move North South Dunland to North Dunland, Moria, you have six units among them and they can teleport basically into Trollshaws. That's a pretty significant threat against Rivendell right away. All right. I don't remember if they did that, but that could be cool. Okay. Um, I'm very happy to see Mirror of Galadriel because now if Gandalf dies, then I will be able to bring him back more reliably. And when you go with this turn one Aragorn strategy, you didn't move the fellowship at all. At this point, you're going to really want to move quickly as quickly as you can. And then hopefully kill off Gandalf to get your sixth die. And then you can slow down a little bit. At least that's often the way uh, I do it. Okay, they're allocating one eye, but then they undid it by accident. Oh no, they just rolled one eye, one die. And now we're fixing that. Okay, so I ended up rolling one Palantir and otherwise nice movement. If I manage to kill off Gandalf with a single movement, then I can get him turn two. But realistically, odds of that are pretty low. My opponent got two more musters. So a perfectly, perfectly reasonable roll for them. They drew Day Without Dawn, but obviously they can't quite play it yet because not all shadow factions are at war. Lidless Eye is pretty useful at this point in the game. All right, I get to draw a new strategy card. It's Kindred of Glorfindel. I'm very happy to see that in case they end up coming towards Rivendell. And... My opponent musters the Southrons and Easterlings one towards war. Okay. I go ahead and move the Fellowship now. And I don't know, maybe I'm happy to get hit, but they miss. 
and then my opponent moves armies around. This is an interesting move, a single single movement to Dagger Lad. I wonder if it's worth getting Baradur into the mix first. I don't know what this single army is going to do. I guess they'll meet up with this minus Morgul army, but 10 regulars by themselves leaving Mordor kind of open is... I mean, I guess you do have the units in Baradur, so... Um, and now we have Narrows of the Forest with these units from Dol Guldur. Yes, that could be enough to take out Woodland Realm, but if I have any sort of mustering there, I wonder if I will put a unit in front from Carrick because I did draw scouts. We'll see what I do. Okay, I do bring the unit from Carrick into Old Forest. It's funny watching this because I don't really remember what I what I did, but you can see that my instincts are similar at least. And I get Iron Hills into Erebor. I guess I feel like I still have time. I'm, I'm a little surprised I didn't go from um, Edoras into Westamnet there, but I guess I still have a little time there. Okay, they get um, they get Sauron to war with that muster. And now they're moving armies. Ah, interesting. So this one, this this army is coming from Daggerlad up to No Man Land. So I guess they're going to meet up with the other armies up here. That's that's interesting. I wonder, would it have been worth two extra half movements? It does slow you down, but then you have a much bigger army coming up north. I don't know. And if you have shadow lengthens in hand and maybe you're going to use shadow lengthens to get to merge up the the army in no man lands with the army in Nairs of the forest why not let this army in Nairs of the forest move to to eastern Merkwood, just making it slightly easier to connect up it's very minor but i think Nairs of the forest i, I would be inclined to go to eastern Merkwood. it i don't think it probably doesn't matter you're probably not merging up that way but at least it keeps an option okay i pass here they draw a character card. So they've been doing some character, some um, strategy. And given the amount of corruption damage I effectively did to myself, I mean, I took seven corruption out of the fellowship on turn one. It does make sense that you could pressure you could pressure me. Um, so that makes sense. All right. And then I go ahead and move a second time because while, while I am in some ways tempted to spend a ring to move again, hoping that I get Gandalf turn two. I'm not in that much of a rush. I've already spent a ring. What am I going to do with this um, muster? I guess I'm going to get somebody towards war, or maybe I'll play Kindred of Glorfindel. I'm not sure. Um, all right, so they they hit me. Had I known they were going to hit me, would I have spent a ring? Yes, but I didn't know they were going to hit me. And uh, so they get a one reveal. And do you lose Gandalf here? I mean, I have Mirror of Gladriel, so it's very likely I will I will get him next round. I don't like wasting the corruption, given that I've already done a lot of corruption to myself. But I'm thinking maybe, who knows, maybe there are military chances. So I think I lose him. Yeah, I lose him. See you later, Gandalf. Okay. And now my opponent plays Candles of Corpses. They get two hits. I'm up to two corruption. Not the best. All right. And then I move the north one towards war. Interesting. What am I thinking there? I don't know. I don't know. North towards war. I guess Old Forest Road's going to get attacked. Why? Why am I doing that? I, I don't know. I get them. They attack Old Forest Road. And now I'm still one away from war. Okay, how about this? If they attack Old Forest Road... No, I still don't get it. <laughs> I still don't know what's going on. I guess they have... Okay, I guess... So they attack Old Forest Road. Now North is one away from war. Um, I probably play scouts into Woodland Realm. And now they're faced with the choice of either attacking Woodland Realm first, in which case Dale will not be able to retreat into Woodland Realm. But at that point, the North will be at war because I will. I know I have scouts and this regular will be in Woodland Realm. So in that case, Shadow will be inclined to attack Dale first. There's a decent chance they might miss Dale. Maybe I'll get another scouts, who knows? And then I'll be able to also retreat Dale into Woodland Realm. I guess that's what I'm thinking with this muster. 
And I guess I'm also thinking that I have um, Boromir down here in Gondor. So next turn I can muster Gondor towards war if I want to with any die. All right. Who knows? Interesting. What what would you have done with that muster? I don't know. Played Kindred of Glorfindel? Maybe. Okay, so they get Southrounds and Easterlings all the way towards war. That's interesting. So now they're threatening Day Without Dawn, but Gandalf is already dead. So if I, that means I can't use Mirror of Galadriel to get him, but if I roll the Will of the West, then I'll get him right away. All right, let's see what happens. So the Red Arrow, love to see that. And now I'm happy that I kept this army in Edoras. That's going to be a buff army in Edoras. And I drew a second Scouts. Wow, I, I didn't remember that about this game. Maybe my subconscious remembered it. Okay, and they get some very nice cards here. I'm assuming they get rid of the Lissai. Let's see what they get rid of. Yeah, so they get rid of the Lissai. They allocate one eye. They roll one more. And I did not get a Will of the West. And I did not get even a Palantir to tempt me into using Mirror of Galadriel. Though, as it turns out, that would have been um, a bad play. Now, they did pretty aggressively get the Southrounds and Easterlings toward war. That was an army movement that they used last round to get them to war. So I feel I, I feel a suspicious, you know, my spidey sense is going off here. So, but obviously I do not like seeing only one movement, um, but what can I do? All right, so I start, okay, maybe this was, <laughs> I should have just waited another round. So um, because they didn't attack, last round now i can muster the north towards war so i do think all of that analysis did did apply because i was anticipating the attack into old forest road given that they did not attack into old forest road now i'm going to start off with this muster because i got so many musters and now if they attack into old forest road i'm going to be able to immediately muster in dale so that'll be cool um, all right, so they attack into Old Forest Road. Obviously, I'm playing Scouts. I'm going to play Spirit of Mordor, I'm sure of it, um, and not Red Arrow because I love Red Arrow. It's two and a half dice worth of actions because you get one and a half um, recruit um, musterings and a full political muster with with um, Rohan. So, and that can often put you in position when Rohan is, is has been mustered once with Red Arrow. If you use a die, you don't. It's not nice to use a die, but if you use a die to get them one away from war, then when Shadow comes in in Fords of Eisen, um, you can muster the hard way in, in Helm's Deep, and you still have this force in Edoras, and it can just cause a lot of problems for Shadow. So, and if I'm thinking I'm, I might be going military, and I'm, I'm definitely tempted to do that, um, then um, I'm happy to just get my nations to war and Rohan is a great nation to to get to war because it's central and can threaten a lot of places okay anyway so they attack old forest road i obviously play scouts spirit of mordor and um and then i retreat into woodland realm all right so yeah are my cards i mean i guess gray company is going to let me cycle quite a lot of cards i'm not gonna i'm not gonna use i'm, I'm waiting for extra palantirs to play that i'm not gonna play it right now um all right so um, okay, right. North is active and, and North is at war. That was from their attack. And, and I noticed it because now I'm starting to muster in Dale. So I'm just going to go crazy mustering Dale as long as they'll let me. And this is now really a problem. Like there's no way this, this army in old forest road, like they're not going to be able to deal with, with Dale and with Woodland Realm. Maybe they can take out Dale. Um, but they just, they play Morgul wound. Okay. I mean, yeah, that's pretty good. That is two corruption. Um, I wonder why they didn't do that instead of attacking first. I, yeah, I think if you have Morgul Wound in hand, I would have played that right away instead of this attack. I mean, the attack is okay, but I mean, the attack causes kind of a big mess. But all right, so two corruption. Obviously, Fellowship is not feeling that great corruption wise. Um, and I just keep mustering in Dale. Yeah, I mean, if if they're not taking Dale, Dale is a great, great place to muster because it so effectively defends Woodland Realm and Erebor. Um, this is going to be a real problem for them militarily in Dew. Um, all right, so they bring in the Southrounds and Easterlings. That's fine. I'm just going to muster again. Yeah, so I just got three elites in Dale. That's six hit points to just cause trouble. Um, very happy to see that. Uh, they play Nazgul Strike, 
which is unfortunately, I mean, I would probably be fine if they wanted to play it, but uh, they can't play it because you can only play it if the fellowship is one or higher. So I tell them they can't. Um, are they going to play breaking instead? I wonder. Um, okay. So they just move Nazgul the hard way. Okay. What What is so important that we... Oh, I guess they just couldn't attack. No, they could have attacked with this army. Yeah, interesting. Okay. They put Nazgul. They put three Nazgul in um, Vale of Karnan and one Nazgul on the Fellowship. Obviously not great to have the Fellowship revealed outside of Moria, not even past Moria. So I go ahead and hide. I don't want to give up on um, on the Corruption game. My current plan, I would say at least what I would be thinking is I want to get the fellowship past Moria and then heal a bit in Lorien. Obviously I'd love to get Gandalf. So roll a will of the West. <laughs> That's important. Uh, and then um, get the fellowship and get these three more movements necessary to get to Lorien, even if I soak up some corruption. But by then I should have six dice. I can heal in Lorien for several rounds and then do some, some military shenanigans. So we'll see. Okay, I'm thinking. Uh, I pass instead. Okay, they are using the ring that I gave them at the beginning, and they're attacking Dale. Okay, that makes sense. They don't want me to muster more, even more in Dale. Um, they're playing a strategy card. It is Mumma Kill. Obviously very good. That is a great use of that card. Um, and... They get two hits against me. I would really like to get two hits back so they don't get the extra hit. Whoa, whoa, four hits, four hits. Way to go, way to go north. Um, I forgot that happened. All right, so I take two. And now this is interesting. Do you, okay, so they, they take casualties. Do you reduce? So I reduced myself um, instead of getting, instead of keeping an elite, I reduced down to four. Because I guess I'm thinking they can't press the attack now. Like they just have to wait and stop. And so I'm going to get to muster my last Northern Elite into Dale again. Man, Dale, way to go. Okay, so they do stop, which I think is certainly correct given that unlikely outcome. Um, and then I had the Fellowship now, and then they should get the Witch King. And then um, they get the Witch King. Yeah. So interesting. Yeah, the Witch King shows up um, in this bigger army. That makes sense. Um, I see Axe and Bow, which I could actually play with Gimli. And Faramir's Rangers. What do you get rid of? I think I get rid of Gua here. I'm a little worried about Rivendell. So I think I'd probably still keep Kindred of Glorfindel. Axe and Bow, it's nice, but... I think I get rid of Axe and Bow and Gua here. Oof, but that's tough. Axe and Bow is really good. Um, Faramir's Rangers? It doesn't look like anything is happening down there. Wow, let's see what I do. I don't know. That's a tough call. All right, so I get I get rid of Gua here and... <laughs> I only had to discard one card. <laughs> ah, funny. Okay, well... Turns out that was that would have been a hard decision. <laughs> I don't know what else I would have discarded. So I'm waiting. I'm biding my time for Great Company. Hopefully, I'm gonna you know get Gandalf, play a bunch of cards, refill my hand with Great Company. All right, that's funny. All right, so come on, Will of the West. Yeah, lots of Wills of the West. Okay, so I am worried about Day Without Dawn. Obviously, I need to get Gandalf right away. So I get Gandalf. All right, turn four Gandalf, turn one Aragorn. Pretty good for free people. I do want to muster in Dale for sure, but I want to get Gandalf more. I, I mean, if they have Day Without Dawn, and I sort of suspect it, which they did, um, got to get Gandalf. That's the top priority. I thought for a moment maybe I want them to show up somewhere else, but like they could show up in Lorien, but I'm happy to threaten ends this way. All right, so they attack Dale, which is obviously correct. Don't want to let me muster even more there. They are playing a character card. I, I assume I play something. Um, maybe nothing. I mean, are they going to get three? Or, well, they might get two hits. Maybe Faramir's Rangers is worth it. I do want to refill my hand with Great Company. So, all right, but I don't play any card. I'm like, yeah, they probably are not. What's, what's a character card going to do here? Um, Dread and Despair. Right. Okay. So they get, um, 
So they forfeit two. Uh, they get three hits. Very unlikely, but three hits. And I get two hits. Wow, there's a lot of lot of fighting in Dale. All right, so I'm down to a um, two regulars, and they move in. So you know, obviously, Woodland Realm is pretty buff. I am feeling good about my Iron Hills to Airborne move now, which is nice. Um, and I still have Red Arrow, so. This this army in Woodland Realm is pretty buff, and I haven't drawn Thran, uh, Thrandall's archers yet, so I could I could get that. It seems unlikely that the elves are getting to war anytime soon, but I do have I do have um, Legolas, so I could I could push on that. All right, I got a lot of options. All right, I'm starting to muster. I'm mustering. That's interesting. I mustered a regular in Carrick and a regular in Bree. Okay. Couldn't I, couldn't I play Faramir's Rangers and the Red Arrow and then play Great Company and? All right, we'll see. So my opponent is moving, getting their armies into Dale, and yeah, and so. Uh, yeah, okay. They're just I, they, they've taken a lot of hits from that army in Dale, and now they're they're just re regrouping. And I guess this army is going to take out Erebor or Woodland Realm. Seems possible. I'm passing now. They're getting now. They're getting Baradur to Gorgoroth, and um, they play Shadows on the Misty Mountains up in up in Mount Graham. So I'm very happy to have Kindred of Glorfindel. Yeah, and I wonder why not? Why not pass a little bit? I guess I I, I guess I wanted this regular here in Carrick just to stop reinforcements moving with um, Shadows Gather and taking it. I don't know. This one regular, I wonder about that muster. I feel like that might have been a little more efficient. Okay, so they're moving armies. They're getting ready to gather and do effective things in um, to Rivendell. Yeah, but they could have... Pl oh, they use they used the combat effect, right? So that's why they, they can't actually gather. All right. Um, I play axe and bow. Okay, okay. I'm feeling I'm feeling the pressure, the corruption pressure, so I'm willing to spend a time, a turn to play Axe and Bow. I do have the dice for it. They get three units using the voice. I play the red arrow with my Palantir because I mean with my Will of the West because I don't want to discard cards. And it's a great card to have. Okay. And then they attack Woodland Realm. Obviously, I go into Siege. They leave one behind in Dale. Sure. Yeah, I guess so. You you don't have to, I don't think. Okay. Um, I go ahead and move the Fellowship because I have to keep moving the Fellowship. There's only one eye. Maybe I should have moved twice, but I think I was just trying to take it slow. Um, they... They get a reroll. They miss me, but then they very inten um, intentionally and thoughtfully, wisely, uh, save Nazgul Strike. So now that I move, they're going to get to play it. Or Rage of the Dunlendings. Not what I expected. Okay, so they played Rage of the Dunlendings there. They're going after the Shire. I mean, the North is at war, so maybe I should have mustered in the Shire instead. I do have one elite left. I don't think that's going to do that much against those three units, but all right. That was cool. Did not expect that. I would have expected a Nazgul strike. Obviously, it's not the best odds. It's only about 50-50, but if you catch me into Moria, that's pretty nice. Um, oh, I just I just top-decked Power of Tom Bombadil. That could mess with this attack on the Shire. Uh, I don't know that I'm really going to play it because the North is already at war, but maybe I will. All right. Ooh, they got Corsairs of Umbar, too. That's great. All right, so they got Nazgul Search. And Corsairs of Umbar, those were two good cards. So they know they're going to reveal me through Moria. I assume that I'm going to move right away. I'm up to six dice, which is great. Oh my gosh, they have no character dice. They rolled and they didn't get any character or any Palantir. So these beautiful Nazgul Search. Oh, Nazgul Strike. That's sad. Okay, um, and I got plenty of movement. And now I'm not... Interesting, I wonder if I realize I'm not actually in a rush to move. Because they literally have no way to do anything bad to me. I guess they can move an army onto me to get one extra reroll. 
Okay. So I go ahead and move. That's fine. And then uh, they get one reroll and they miss. Okay. I have to remind them to get a reroll, which is, you know, you want to play by the rules. So, um, okay. They're moving to South Arid Luin and moving to Weather Hills. So they're just building up their army here. Yeah, that's interesting. With the with the Rage of the Dunlendings, do you go after Rivendell? It seems like they're splitting these forces here, which is interesting. Um, all right, so I play Faramir's Rangers here. Interesting. I guess I'm waiting for them to commit to Rivendell because the um, Elven Force Pool is not that big. I'm just waiting to see. If they come after Rivendell, then I'll obviously play Kinder of Glorfindel. I think it's likely I'll have the die to be able to do it. Um, I guess I felt like it didn't didn't help to um, play anything of the sh Shire, to muster the Shire. I guess I'm thinking right now, I'm guessing, that I'm going to um, play the Grey Company with one of these character dice. And so I just want to clear out my hand a little bit. All right, so I get the units in Osgiliath. Um, the Shire gets attacked. I didn't play the power of the Humbombidal. Maybe I should have. It would have wasted um, some cards from them. But they have so many extra dice. I mean, I think that was the other thing. They had a lot of extra dice, so that's why I wasn't prioritizing that. All right, they take out the Shire. I get one hit back. And um, now they're at two victory points. I go ahead and, interesting, use Legolas's ability to get the elves towards war. Okay. And um, they muster Nazgul. What just happened? Okay, they got, a, they got two Nazgul. One in Moria, one in Minas Morgul. I now get the elves all the way to war. So I'm just, I'm not worried about, interesting, you know, maybe it would have made sense to try and get Corsairs. I mean, to try and get Gondor to war to prepare for Corsairs. But um, I guess I just want to defend. It looks like maybe they're going for Grey Havens. I don't know. I just want to have some elves ready. It does threaten Cairdon's ships, even though I don't have it. Um, they muster a regular in Dol Golder. And I muster an elite in Rivendell. Okay, not crazy. They get an elite in Dol Golder. Uh, no, undo that. Just kidding. They get two. They try to put two regulars in Orthanc, and instead they use the voice of Saruman's ability to upgrade. Okay, and that makes sense. And then what did I do? I got an elite unit in Bree. I'm just all over the place with my musters. I, yeah, who knows? Who knows where they're going? Who knows where I'm attacking? Um, elves are at war. I did that and got one unit in Rivendell. And still Gondor is two away from war. Okay, so they get more elites in Orthanc. All right, so they had four musters that turn. They mustered a bunch in Orthanc. I'm a little nervous that this army in Edoras is still far away. All right, whoa, I top decked Cairdon's ships. Clearly, I knew that I was going to draw Cairdon's ships, and therefore I got the elves to war last round. All right, sometimes it works out. All right, so what do you get rid of here? Um, probably Horn of Gondor. Yep, Horn of Gondor goes. They have... Some nice choices here. I think Flox of Corbain goes. Lore of the Ring, maybe? Do you discard Day Without Dawn? Let's see. Flox of Corbain and Lore of the Ring. Okay. And I declare past Moria. That was nice to make it safely. I'm looking forward to getting into Lorien. They get two eyes. I get one movement. That's fine. I'm happy to see these Palantirs. I have plenty of cards I can play. I can refill my hand with Grey Company. Okay. So... Move the fellowship. Safe. Great. So I'm like, great. I'm going to declare in Lorien. This is my whole plan. All right. Nazgul search right away. Nice. Okay. So I get declared. Obviously, I get revealed. Obviously, I cannot declare into Lorien. I don't think I'm going backwards. And um, let's see what else I do. So I'm getting more units in Bree. All right. And a regular in Lorien. 
they're getting their armies towards Gondor. I'm like, uh oh, maybe I should have been mustering Gondor. Yeah, now I muster Gondor once, and I'm like one move too slow. Yeah, what was I thinking? Okay, so they're, now they have units. They have Corsairs of Umbar ready. They have uh, this army in South Athelion. I hide the Fellowship. They play Corsairs of Umbar. Yeah, so obviously that's not what I wanted. Um, they took all their whole army. So given the amount of military I have on the board right now and the fact that I have six dice, I would definitely be wary of taking everybody because I can come close to marching in to Umbar. So I'm thinking, I guess, about playing Cairdon ships. But I'm also like, oh, Umbar, it's so tasty. I could go for a military victory. I mean, Shadow Military is going pretty slowly here. So I can afford to maybe lose a stronghold in exchange for getting a stronghold. That's a good trade for free people in the military game. All right, but it's also nice to defend your own strongholds. So I play Cairdon ships. And um, we'll see what happens. They attack Woodland Realm now. All right, good to finish that off. I don't play a card. They're playing a character card, but I don't play anything because I, I don't really have anything effective, I think, against a character card. Just kidding. I play a <laughs> new disposition. Okay, so in case it was, it doesn't do anything. I played Power of Tom Bombadil. They've already taken the Shire. Um, and I'm planning on, you know, my hand's going to get refilled in case it was... Um, the card, what's it called? Cruel as Death. Then I guess I play it. So, okay. Um, they have the Black Breath. Let's see what happens. Um, oh, there's... Oh, I said I didn't want to play that. Um, right, I see. I, okay, so that's interesting. My my current self agreed with my past self. That was an act. That was a misclick is what happened there. Um, I say... They say Woodland Realm... I say no card, and then I chose the strategy card, and what happened was I was trying to press F2 to reveal their card, but instead I accidentally pressed F1. So um, so I acknowledge that. They acknowledge it. We, we take it back. So, um, okay, and I, yeah, obviously I wasn't trying to cheat. I had no intention of playing an advantageous position there. You, it's nice. We got double confirmation that I really didn't mean to, and I, and I wasn't going to. Uh, okay, so... They get no hits, and I get three hits. So, yeah, I mean, when sh free people has has a full uh, stronghold, stuff like that can happen. All right, but they're pressing. That's pretty darn risky. I am surprised by that. And um, they don't play any card, and then they get one hit, and I get two hits. Could have been a lot worse for them. Um, but probably not enough for me to counterattack. I do like killing the Witch King, but I also don't want to accidentally get myself killed. All right, so I start getting some Gondor elites in Minas Tirith. They reinforce Woodland Realm. Very nice. And we go to next round. Okay, I got Celeborn's Galadrim. Wow, I've drawn all the reinforcements for the strongholds that I don't need it for. Well, I mean, Cairn Ships was obviously great, but I just meant the Kindred of Glorfindel and, and Celeborn's Galadrim. I'm guessing... Let's see what I get. All right, so Wizard Staff obviously can go... See you later, Wizard Staff. Okay. Um, so I say that I would have declared in Lorien if I could have. Nice job on the, on the Nazgul search. And they allocate one eye, roll one more, and I get no mustering a lot of options. So this, this is the moment where Grey Company can be really nice because I have extra characters to use up and this card um, is a way of just an effective, effective use of a character die. All right, so I start by moving the Fellowship once. They hit me, obviously relatively unlikely only on a six. They draw a three. So see you later, Gimli and Axe and Bow. And um, I'm thinking maybe I can make it to Minas Tirith. Maybe I don't want to push that hard. We'll see. Um, they muster in Dol Golder. Okay. 
yeah, I mean, it's possible that I could come out with of Lorien and go fight there. Sure. I might try and finish off my combats first and save the muster for a little later, but I guess we'll see. All right, I'm passing. They muster more in Dol Guldur. Okay, maybe they're, I see, they're going to come and reinforce. Did they get Shadows Gather? No. Okay, um, I move the Fellowship now again, and I'm safe. That's nice. And they move armies. I see. So they're coming to reinforce Woodland Realm. And um, I could move again right here. Is it worth going into moving a third time, trying to get into Minas Tirith, and then heal? So if you look at the hunt pool, um, the zeros and the ones and the eyes will reveal me. Uh, it looks like seven out of seven, se seven tiles will reveal me. Um, and seven won't. So it's sort of 50-50 chance of getting revealed. And the reason why this two reveal won't reveal me is that I can um, separate both my hobbits. And then Gollum will be guide. And then I will not be revealed because of Gollum's ability. Okay, so 75% um, chance of getting caught seems unwise, I say. But, all right, so I just move, move units. I mean, obviously, it's better when you're moving armies to be able to use an army movement, which is double as efficient. But... I don't, I'm not going to risk getting into Minas Tirith this turn. Okay, so they're continuing with their army plan. Um, I move... That's funny. Grey Company is still playable. Okay, I move everybody out to Osgiliath. I'm threatening to move them to Daggerlad and take Morin on, or just come into come into Mordor. It's a, or go up north to Dol Guldur. Moving this army down to West Herondor... I'm not sure what they're doing there. Oh, well, I see. I guess they're protecting Umbar. Yeah, there, there are a lot of weaknesses over here. It seems pretty hard for Shadow to hold Umbar minus Morgul, Morinon, and Bardur against this, this Gondorian army. That's pretty tough. Okay, they complete their movement into um, Woodland Realm. That should be enough to take it out. And... Um, they move some two regulars into Gorgoroth because they can see I'm eyeing Mordor. Uh, congratulations, all three factions, into this army in Woodland Realm. That's always fun when Shadow gets to do that. And I go ahead and play Great Company here because I'm ready to refill my hand. I'm, I don't really care about... I guess I don't really care about Kindred of Glorfindel. I don't really care about Power of Tom Bombadil, so I'm just doing it. I kill a um, regular, which is always sad, but... Uh, he's really getting upgraded. So there we go. My force pool is still pretty good in Gondor. And um, I redraw guards of the Citadel. Obviously, that's a nice card. And Emerald Hill of Dol Amroth, also a good card. So I'm um, happy to see that. And um, what will I discard? I'm assuming Power of Tom Bombadil. There we go. Okay. And so nice that that actually didn't matter at all in terms of keeping that or not. All right, they play on on they went. Obviously good to get the red tiles in. And I play guards of the Citadel. I don't love discarding a bunch of cards, but also I'm excited to get through day and a night if I can. All right, Minas Tirith is getting buffed up. Woodland Realm gets attacked. I play Daylight here. Normally I love playing Celeborn's Gladroom as the card effect, but I have enough cards Daylight is, um, and I can muster the elves normally, and my elf elven pool is running pretty low. So um, given the strategy card, could have been Deadly Strife or something like that, good to play the Daylight. And I, I'm more excited to play Emerald of Dol Amroth as the card effect. Okay, so they, um, they get two hits. I get one hit. And I lose an elite. They press. I play advantageous position here. And they play Day Without Dawn. Uh, you know, it's interesting. They had King is Revealed also. Um, it's always nice for free people when they see Day Without Dawn go away. Because it gives them a little more flexibility with their action dice. You don't have to spend Wills of the West right away in terms of risking Day Without Dawn. Um, and with six dice for free people, I might have been tempted to hang on to that. But I also understand why you might want five units in um, and an Osgul and minus Morgul. So, um, all right. So what do they do? They take two hits and they only get one hit to me. 
and I get one hit to them. All right, and they stop there. They should still be able to win the fight, but obviously it would have been nicer for them if it was that round instead of another round. All right, they draw Stormcrow, which is a very effective great host, um, and Dreadful Spell is also good. I get power to great now, which I'm happy to see, and Dead Men of Dunharrow, also happy to see. Um, wow, look at this roll. I, so I got tons of movement if I want it. I did not declare the Fellowship. And this is a moment, right? I rolled two Wills of the West, and I'm sort of immediately going to spend one, but then I'm going to realize that I don't have to. Um, and I just move the Fellowship, and they're safe. Great. And now ring rates are abroad. They go... Um, yeah, it's interesting. Why not use a... Palantir to play that instead of a character? All right, where are they going to attack? They attack into... What's going on? Oh, they're attacking into Woodland Realm. All right. They play Deadfall Spells as a combat effect. That's great. And I get one hit back, and that's the end of Woodland Realm. So um, it's turn eight. Took a long time, but eventually you get there. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't... I definitely have some chances with um, this army in Gondor. What's the other army that's going in doing things and getting me two victory points. Maybe it's elves. I don't have a lot more elf in force pool. Maybe it's Rohan. Um, I do have these four units over here in Bree. I don't know exactly what they're doing. So yeah, this is, this is an interesting situation. The fellowship is not doing great. And as Shadow collects more victory points, my ability to send units abroad to capture strongholds goes down because we can tie, and then they win the tie. All right, so they forgot that they didn't draw for the Witch King, so we draw for the Witch King. All right, um, so now they attack into Pilar gear. A very, that feels risky to me. Where, why is, yeah, I mean, I guess they want the victory point, but, um, all right, so I muster a regular Minas Tirith, and a leader in Bree. And they move two regulars to Lamadon, And then these two regulars from Gorgoroth to Minus Morgul. Okay, I guess they didn't want me mustering in Lamadon. Okay, and I continue to muster regulars in Minas Tirith and uh, in Bree. And I guess my thinking there is I want to be able to leave Minas Tirith and go somewhere with this army without just giving up Minas Tirith too easily. And at the same time, I have four regulars in the Gondor uh, reinforcement pool so that at some point when I play Dead Men of Dunharrow, I will be able to um, recruit three regulars and pull our gear. All right, they're moving armies. They merge up in North in South Downs. Why? Where is it going? I guess they're going towards Grey Havens. That makes sense because I only have two, two regulars, I mean, three more hit points max that I can muster. Um, all right, I move companions and I get everybody gathered in Westham net because I guess I'm thinking about Dead Men of Dunharrow to go cause a bunch of trouble there. Could be exciting to annihilate Pilar gear. Okay, smells like Dead Men, my opponent predicts, and um. Okay, so they move away from Pilar gear and they move to Cardolan. And I I go from Asgiliath to West Herondor. Yeah, so this move from Pilar gear to Lamadon, I guess in some ways keeps them safe from dead men, but um, it's really leaving Umbar un unguarded. So I attack from Asgiliath into West Herondor and um, then they muster an elite in Umbar, but then I attack in Umbar. So this is not, I mean, I can take out one elite even with no companions here. Um, so that's not great for them. All right, King is revealed. All right, so you're going to get some units in minus Morgul. I guess they already had all their Nazgul out. Yep, they already had all their Nazgul out. And my fellowship gets to declare in uh, Minas Tirith. 
That's nice for me. So they're healing up and um, we'll see what happens. So they have to allocate one eye. They roll two more. And then I get this great roll, Double Will of the West, because they've already played Day Without Dawn. So I have a lot of flexibility with this. What would you do? Um, clearly, I want to take Umbar. Where are my other two victory points coming from? I do have this army that I built over time in Bree that sort of was at a standoff with the monsters roused for a while. And now the monsters roused are going to greener pastures, I guess, Grey Havens. But that does free up this army in North Downs and Bree to go do something. How many more North units? All right, I don't have any more North units. I have two Northern regular, or two Northern leaders only. All right. Um, I start by attacking into Umbar. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Um, I don't want them to play Ulug High, which lets them reinforce, I think. Um, and I have no quarter, so I only need one six. I'm assuming I'm playing no quarter here. Yeah, no quarter. And I, I got two sixes anyway, but I only needed one on seven dice, so fair enough. All right, they don't get any hits back, and I have this giant army in Umbar. So depending on what they do, I could go take Far Harad and um, Angmar. I mean, certainly this army could take out Angmar. And depending on how proactively they're moving, um, I mean, I could potentially do that this round. We'll see. All right, so they're attacking into Dol Amroth. Yes, it is good to get your victory points, but if you're not going to win the race, then you have to stop free people. All right, they're playing Shadows Gather as a combat effect, and they don't have any leadership here in Dol Amroth. It's a little sad. But I guess they want to just kill off some units first and then um, reinforce it. They get one hit. I get three hits back. They stop. And they lost an elite there. That's a little surprising. I think if you're planning on reinforcing from Lamadon into Dolamroth, might as well keep the elite. All right. I, I'm a little surprised they stopped, but I guess they did. And um, now I've been saving Imrahil of Dolamroth, so I just get to play it right away. I get a regular and an elite in there. And now I have exactly three regulars for the dead men. If at some point I want to play that. Um, they move some units in to um, Dolamroth. And uh, they're doing something else instead. They're moving Nazgul around. Okay, with the character die, they're just moving Nazgul around. And um, I merge my army. I'm thinking where are they merging? Okay, so I move um, these two elites and four regulars, um, merge them in North Downs, and I get these two elites out of um, Rivendell to Trollshaw. So either I'm coming towards Moria, which is sort of a weird way of, of doing it if I'm trying to get to Moria from Bree, um, or more likely it looks like I'm going for Mount Gundabad, or... I'm going for Angmar and Farharad. So, yeah, I'm looking at this. It seems like maybe it's an Angmar Farharad situation, but it depends what happens with these units in Lamadon. All right, so they draw a strategy card. I move my armies. Yeah, I guess I'm going after Mount Gundabad because that seems good. They muster in Mount Gundabad, clearly the right choice. And I attack Angmar, I guess because I figure I'm not going to take out Mount Gundabad this turn, and I want to take out this mustering point. So um, at the very least, if I now come over to attack uh, Mount Gundabad, they won't be able to um, they won't be able to reinforce it. I, did I look at the force pool? So there's only one more elite available. Okay. Um, I attack Angmar. I get my one hit. They get a hit back. And um, now I've captured it. I am at three points, so this does threaten. This does threaten Far Harad. And okay, and now they're moving armies. They get a big army into um, Buckland, which is fun. Don't usually see that. And um, and then I go ahead and play Dead Men of Dunharrow here because they have played Black Captain Commands. I think so, right? Um, no, they've played Ring Wraiths are abroad. They they have not played Black Captain Commands. So there is one card that would let them um, reposition and attack. But I'm going to get three regulars. And um, 
I'm bringing Gandalf here. So the odds of them, the odds of Shadow, if they have Black Captain commands, um, I can play Heroic Death. Uh, oh, no, I have Scouts. Okay, great. <laughs> so, so yeah. So th these units, obviously, you don't want to get Gandalf and Aragorn killed, but they're pretty safe right here. And I'm happy to get the extra recruiting in Pilar gear. Um, okay, they play Shelob's Lair. You know, maybe that makes sense. Um, yeah, what else can they do? Okay, um, I get Help Unlooked For, another No Quarter, which is good. Fateful Strike could be useful. Um, maybe, maybe not the most useful. I mean, my, my plan, I think, is to go take Mount Gundabad or, um, somehow if this army survives in Angmar, then go take Far Harad, depending on what they do. I guess I wanted to, I wanted to bring defense to, um, Umbar. All right. Um, they got shadows moving, which can be useful. I heal again. Okay. Um... We're pausing the game right here. I get a nice roll. They get a pretty nice roll. And let's see what happens. So we're restarting. And what do I do first? Um, do I just go and try and attack attack Mount Gundabad? They're probably going to muster in there. Can this army, 11 hit points, take out a 6 hit point army? Perhaps. I am worried about this army in Buckland coming up and... Um, messing with me and Angmar. Let's see what I do. All right, so I move Gandalf. I'm moving companions is what I'm doing. Companions are moving around. I bring Boromir to Umbar. Why did I, why did I dead men just, just to get the recruit? The re Yeah, okay. Um, and then I bring Strider to Eastamnet. I don't know exactly what I'm thinking there. I guess I'm just temporizing to see what they do. I want to be able to go take out Far Harad and get my fourth victory point, but we'll see what they do. They they only have four attacks. So interesting. So they move. Yeah, it makes sense. They're moving from Buckland to North Downs and then out from Minus Morgul. I will, I guess I pass just to see what they do. They're attacking Dol Amroth. That is nerve wracking, but okay. So they play Return to Valinor. I play no card. They get, how many hits is that? They get four hits. I get four hits. And um, they get to redraw a card. At this point, I, what did I do with that muster? Um, okay, I'm getting Rohan towards war. Sure, why not get Rohan towards war? I think I'm just temporizing, waiting to see what they do. Um, and now, yeah. So they move armies. They moved armies from Lamadon to, to Dol Amroth, which is okay. But then they did not move this army from North Downs to Etten Moors or Arnor. And that means um, they can't, retake Angmar, which means this army in Umbar can go take Farharad and I'll be at four points. So, and they don't have any rings. So that's, that's sad. Um, yeah, kind of an anticlimactic end there. I attack into from, to near Harad and they're like, oh, that's a problem. And I leave one unit behind in Umbar. Is that a good choice or not? Is there any reason why why I might do that? Is there any way for them to get a unit into Umbar? Should I just take everyone with me? And the answer is, I don't think there's any way for them to get a unit into Umbar in this situation. Another question is, does it matter? Is there any way they can get units into Farharad or near or, or Farharad or Khan? And um the answer to that is yes, there could be um, Horde from the East. I don't think they've played that yet. Um, so Horde from the East could show up in Farharad, but they don't have it. They just muster an elite there and Bormir uh, 
gets one hit, they get two back. Or, sorry, uh, they no, they don't get any back. Uh, and then I press, and then it goes away. So um, now I'm at four points, and they have one attack, and there's nothing. There's nothing they could do. Um, so uh, let's see. I don't know. Do we end up finishing the game, or do we just stop here? Okay, we're done. Um, so that was the game. Interesting military shenanigans. Um, the fellowship was healing in Minas Tirith. I didn't feel great about the fellowship, but um, maybe I bought enough time. It's not exactly obvious where I would recapture points if I was trying to destroy the ring, but obviously getting to four victory points militarily is, is good too. This, I think the biggest, the biggest problem was they sent a, the Corsairs of Umbar followed by emptying Mordor army, um, just left too easy a path to Umbar and then not dealing with this army in Angmar, I think was, was obviously the, the thing that sealed their fate. This it's possible, right? I have 11 hit points. They have 11 hit points. Um, they have one extra leadership, but I have, um, the city, so for the first round, um, I have heroic death. I have no quarter. So I think I was, I had pretty good odds to survive that battle, but, um, all right, let's look at statistics. You can see, um, they were actually pretty positive on their combat dice. I was a little bit negative on my combat dice and I guess I rolled, I rolled more than them. I wonder if this is, I wonder if this is switched. Um, maybe, maybe this is switched and I rolled, I can't imagine that I rolled more than them, more dice than them. So yeah, so this is, this is probably switched and that means, uh, they rolled a little poorly and I rolled well on my combats, which, which actually feels, feels more right given the amount of damage I did up here in Dale. Um, I had plenty of movement plus six on characters. Yep. So that was game one. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I will continue to do more videos on the War of the Ring 2023 tournament. Hope you have a great day.